What's up everybody, it's Fanny Mancy from Real Results Fitness and today in this video what we're going to discuss, we're going to talk about my experience, my first experience going with the doctor for my Achilles surgery or after I found out I tore my Achilles. Uh, if you have not watched the first video, I recommend to go back up here, up here, I'll put it down um, in the comments as well. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, don't know who I am, don't know what I do, I'm an online trainer. What that means is uh, basically I set up a training and nutrition program for clients to track on my application uh, so they can transform their body, get from basically from shit to fit and learn how to eat along the way so they could live a normal lifestyle and still make significant progress. So if you need help with that, I'll put that in the, uh, I'll link that down below as well, as long as with my email. So my first experience with the doctor. Um, if you follow the channel, you know that I have torn my ACL before. So the plan was to go to the, uh, I believe he was a podiatrist. I could have that medical term wrong, but basically he was like a middleman. And this doctor recommended me to go to other doctors. He, uh, he, I had a good experience with him. So, uh, he recommended me when I tore my ACL to go to a doctor in LA, had a good experience with them. Uh, everything went well, so for the most part, um, so the plan was to go back with him. When I tore my ace, or when I tore my Achilles, and like I mentioned in the first video, and I really found out that it was my Achilles, or I was like ninety nine percent sure that my Achilles was torn. Um, you know, I, I'm, you freak out because you don't know. I don't know what to expect, and the internet was not as big, or I guess maybe not as easy to search, or I wasn't as uh, internet savvy as I am today. So I wasn't sure like how long the process is, how soon I need to get in, how soon I need to do surgery. Um, when I called this podiatrist, the middleman doctor, his name was Dr. Podesta, I'll never forget that. Um, good guy, uh, very stern, but in a good way. But anyways, he was out for like two or three weeks. He was on vacation on the East Coast because um, I can't remember when it happened. It was just a, a time of year where he was just taking a vacation and I wasn't sure if I could wait that long. Like, is the tendon just going to rot up or, or dry out? Like, I don't know. I'm not a doctor and I was pretty young at the time. So I was, I was freaking out, man. I didn't know. I'm like two weeks. So I, uh, called a few other doctors that were under my insurance and, um, I got an appointment with, uh, a doctor that was in my same city, and um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't really happy with the experience with this doctor, and um, he, I'll talk about him more in, in the future videos. But he he was just he's very quick. He was very quick with it, and uh, at the time I was again starting to get into weightlifting and training, and I was trying trying all these different supplements and my friend told me to try a, a, a over the counter test booster which is it was called T bomb I think it's still around it's called T bomb uh, if if you're not aware over the counter test boosters are basically just crap <laughs> it's basically just uh, most of them are just ingredients you can buy separately or just fillers uh, basically supplement industries out there to scam us uh, so long story short I, I mentioned he was asking me like are you doing any drugs? Yeah, do you smoke marijuana? Have you smoked marijuana? Any of those? Um, just, you know, general questions. And uh, I told him, the only thing I did tell him was like, uh, I am taking this testosterone booster, this over-the-counter testosterone booster, which I bought at Vitamin World, right? So it's nothing illegal, nothing that's been banned. Um, and I think, well, fast forward later, but... He thought that I was taking illegal steroids or, or some kind of um, illegal test booster. And that was the cause of the Achilles tear. You know, of course, at that time, I didn't want to believe it. I was like, there's no way this is legal. And and it is legal. And that wasn't the, the cause of why it happened. But um, he, you know, he basically was like, oh, this, an Achilles tear is for the most part, a, a injury that people get in their 40s or 50s or just people that are not active. And I was active and uh, rewinding and just remembering when I tore my ACL, 
and when I tore my Achilles, both times I did not stretch. I jumped, uh, like I showed up late to the game, and I jumped right into the game, no stretching whatsoever, no warm up, just kind of like, you know, a few layups to warm up, and that was it. And um, and that that in my opinion was the main culprit of why I didn't, you know, I didn't, uh, or, or why I got injured because prior to that. I was always that dude, no matter what, like stretching or working out and uh, especially basketball more in those days, but I would always stretch. I would always do some kind of hamstring stretch or calf stretch or quad stretch, you know, like the flamingo where you hold one leg up. But I was always that dude that would stretch at least for five minutes, man, at least five minutes. And coincidentally, the two times I don't stretch. Those are the literally almost the two times I could ever remember not stretching for basketball tore something. So that was my opinion. Again, terrible first experience with the doctor. Uh, the, the only good thing about it was he got me um, time to schedule my surgery within like a week, which was great. Because again, I, I wasn't sure like I wasn't sure if I needed to do it as soon as possible. I wasn't sure if I need if I could wait. Um, you know what the repercussions were because as I mentioned in the first video I couldn't feel my heel because when um, Basically the Achilles is like imagine this long rubber band and let's say this is my heel and this is the top of your calf or your gastrocnemius This band is broken, right? So it rolls up this way or it rolls down this way or kind of a little bit of both um, but I felt it roll up in the back of my calf so at that point, basically your heel, which is down here, right? Hopefully you guys get this by now, is dragging. You can't feel anything, so it's a very scary moment, um, especially if you're not educated. So luckily now there's a lot more stuff that you could educate yourself on. You could YouTube stuff very quickly, or you could uh, actually there's not a lot of Achilles stuff out there. That's why we're doing. That's why I'm doing this, but. A lot of stuff on Google now. Um, but yeah, that was just my first experience with the doctor. Was not a great one. Um, kind of wish I would have waited. I, st I still ha I haven't even researched if I could have waited. Um, but yeah, not the best first experience with the doctor. Uh, on the next video, uh, I'll discuss the surgery, what happened, and uh, and kind of how I felt after. All right? Maybe, maybe the first doctor's visit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it's helping. Uh, again, if you need a training and nutrition program that's going to transform your body, get you from shit to fit, all right? I think Chris Jones is the one that coined that. Um, but if you need a program that's gonna transform your body and teach you how to eat along the way, make sure to message me or email me below, contact through my website, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.